welcome to this channel today we will explore the working of an evacuated tube solar water heater we'll start by understanding the optimal direction for placing a solar water heater then move on to the concept of thermosiphon the expected temperature of hot water and how long it takes to heat the water we will also discuss the factors that affect the maximum temperature of hot water by the end of this video you'll have clear understanding of how to get most out of your solar water heater to determine the best direction for placing the solar water heater we first need to understand how the sun moves in the northern hemisphere where india is located the sun moves from east to west through the south this means the solar water heater should always face south in northern hemisphere to capture the most sunlight but direction isn't the only factor angle also plays a crucial role for maximum efficiency the solar rays should hit the collector surface at a 90 degree angle if rays hit at an angle greater than 90 degree the energy spreads over a larger area reducing its intensity as i adjust the angle here you can see the illuminated area shown in yellow grow larger this means the same amount of energy is spread over a bigger area reducing the energy per unit area so to get the most out of solar water heater the collector surface should always be perpendicular to the sun rays now you may be knowing that the sun's position changes throughout the year the sun's path changes with the seasons in winter it follows a lower trajectory while in summer it's higher in the sky we can see it here yellow line is for sun's path in winter and red for summer this means the optimal angle for your solar collector will vary depending upon the time of year when you need hot water for example most households need hot water primarily in winter for this the angle of solar collector should be set to latitude of your location plus 15 degree if you need hot water in summer the angle should be latitude minus 15 degree for year round use which may be requirement for industries or hotel that need hot water all year the angle should be latitude plus 5 degree this angle ensures better performance in winter when hot water demand is usually higher let's take an example for ludhiana the latitude is 30.9 degree let's round it off to 30 degree for winter the angle will be 30 plus 15 that is 45 degree for summer the angle will be 30 minus 15 that is 15 degree and the year round angle will be 30 plus 5 35 degree now that we have covered placement and angle let's take a closer look at components of solar water heater to understand how it works this is an evacuated tube solar water heater and it has three main parts an inlet for cold water an outlet for hot water notice that the hot water outlet is positioned higher than the cold water inlet an outlet for excess steam in an earlier video on solar thermal collectors we discussed two types of evacuated tube collectors those with and without heat pipes you can see the link of the video in top right hand corner of your screen and description of this video the collector used in this solar water heater is evacuate tube collector without a heat pipe the open ends of the evacuate tube are inserted into the tank and sealed as shown here the lower sealed ends of the tubes are supported at the bottom of the collector before we see the system in action let's quickly go over two important concepts that make this system work first one is density as the water heats up beyond 4 degree celsius its density decreases 
This means hot water becomes lighter and rises while cold water being denser sinks. Second is thermosiphon. You may have seen working of siphon. The water moves up without pump once the flow is established between upper and lower level. Thermosiphon consists of two words where thermo means heat and siphon have the usual meaning. Thermosiphon is a natural process where water circulates without the need for a pump. Once the flow is established, hot water rises and cold water sinks creating a continuous cycle. Now let's see how it all comes together. Cold water is fed into water heater from overhead tank or with the help of pump. When sunlight hits the evacuated tubes, the water inside heats up and its density decreases. The colder, denser water sinks to the bottom due to the gravity while the hot water rises up to the top of the tank. This process is driven by both gravity and thermal convection. The hot water can be used from the top of the tank through hot water outlet. For solar water heaters, hot water is typically used in the morning. There are three main steps in operation of a solar water heater. First is collection. The solar energy is collected by the evacuated tubes. Second is heat transfer. The heat is transferred to the water inside the tube. Third is storage. The hot water is stored in the tank for later use. In a collector where evacuated tube with heat pipes is used, a special fluid like alcohol evaporates inside the tube. The vapors rise and transfer heats to the water in the storage tank. This setup reduces scaling in the tubes, but the collector is more expensive. Now you know how it works. The next big question is, what should be the capacity of solar water heater? The size depends upon your specific needs. For most household, a capacity of 100 to 200 liters is sufficient for four to five members of the family. However, for larger installations like hostels or hotels, a capacity of 5,000 liters or more is needed. So how hot will the water get? The temperature of hot water depends upon several factors. Number one is solar radiation. Then number two is temperature of incoming water. Number three is size of the collector area. Solar radiation varies depending upon your location. Areas near the tropics receive more sunlight than other parts of the world. On average, you can expect a temperature rise of 25 to 35 degrees Celsius per square meter of collector area for 100 liters of water in one day. Larger collector areas and optimal angles can result even higher temperatures. Finally, how long does it take to heat the water? Typically, it takes 8 to 10 hours to fully heat the water. For practical use, hot water from solar water heaters is used once a day, preferably in the morning, to allow the water to heat throughout the day. So let's summarize. We have discussed that the solar water heater should face south in northern hemisphere. We should adjust the angle based on the season, for example, latitude plus 15 degree for the winters. The system operates on thermosiphon principle and a temperature rise of 25 to 35 degree Celsius per square meter per day for 100 liters of water may be expected during 8 to 10 hours of heating time. Thank you very much.